Alright, what is up guys? Simon from Bravest.com and for those of you who watched my last tutorial, I created this thing that you see right here. Uh, it's an animation frame uh, that's driven by an Arduino. Uh, but I did get a couple of questions after posting that tutorial. Uh, people asking me, how did I create the uh, values in the array to actually display these characters? And it's a good question because there is 256 of these guys. And uh, no, I didn't do it by hand. I actually used an image of these guys and then used another program to extract from the image and create values for the array that I used in the code. So I thought that today I would do a quick tutorial. So we're gonna create a new character uh, to display on this uh, animation frame. And I'll show you the procedure as well as the program that I used. And then we'll come back and we'll see it in action on the frame right here. So let's go check that out and we'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I need is the actual image. A good place to get these characters is this website right here, the Spriters re uh, resource. And here I found the Galaga one, and it's a whole sheet like this. So I downloaded that, and then I opened it in Photoshop. And here it is in Photoshop. Uh, now I need to isolate two of these characters to create the animation. So I'm gonna zoom in into that image and until I see my two characters. I'm gonna select these uh, enemies here, this one and this one. So I'm selecting 16 by 16 pixels because my frame is 16 by 16 and I am uh, make sure that I can get the whole character in there like this and then I'm gonna copy it and then I'll create a new image of the size 16 by 16 so create that let me zoom into this there it is I'm gonna copy it like this and then I need to change the mode of the image so I'm gonna go in mode I'm gonna choose index color and I'm gonna choose web color uh, because the library that we use on the Arduino is expecting uh, web color values, HTML values. So I'm going to do OK on that. And then I'm going to save that image as a BMP right there. And I already saved it. So you do the same thing for both characters in BMP. And then when, once you have them saved, you open this new program, which is the LCD image converter. Uh, I'm going to put the links in the description down below for, these, uh, for that program. And you can check the website brainabest.com as well. I'll have a tutorial page on that uh, with all the links. Uh, so here's the program we're going to use. So I'm going to open uh, the first image, which is Galaga01. Open that. And here it is. Now we don't need to modify anything here. We're just going to go to Options, Conversion. And here it was a little bit tricky because if you look at my matrix, the image right here, um, the way it's connected, it goes back and forth. So it goes from left to right and right to left. So all the uh, odd lines are from left to right and all the even lines are from right to left. Now this program, from what I've seen, you can't do that type of uh, reading. So right now it's doing top to bottom, left to right for each lines. So we're going to start with that. So first thing, I'm going to change it to color because we have a color matrix. Then I'm going to go to image and I'm going to choose a block size of 24 bit. Then I'm going to go back here and show preview. And here's the first array we're going to use. So that's a 16 by 16 array, but they're all from left to right. So basically all the odd lines are good, but all the even lines have to be reversed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the whole thing first. Then I'm going to go to the, uh, the code and I'm going to select this array and paste it. And there we go. We have our first array pasted, but we need to modify every odd lines. So we're going to go back to the program and we're going to change the scan direction to forward, which is left to right to backwards. And you're going to see it in the graphic change. So now it's going from right to left for every line. So we're going to go back to show preview. And now this array that we see here is from right to left for every line. So what I need to do is copy each of the odd lines, uh, the even lines like this, copy here, go back here, and then paste that second line here. And there we go. Now we're reversed. So I do this for every even lines. So I'm copying, going back to my code, one, two, three, four, and replacing here. So once I've done all of them, then I have the right direction. So the first line is left to right, and the other one is right to left, and so on and so on. 
So there you go. So I did this for both of my arrays. So that's the way, you know, I did it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, maybe there's another way to do it. Uh, but for, uh, you know, the copying pasting is, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but basically you only have eight lines to do. So it's not too bad. Uh, so now I'm going to upload that code to the uh, animation frame and let's go check out our new character. Uh, all right, guys, I just wanted to mention about this uh, program here, the LCD image converter. There's a lot more options in this program and it can be used for more than just a 16 by 16 matrix color matrix that I have. Uh, I just want to show you the options here in conversion. Uh, right now, as you can see in the Arduino, uh, the code needed this format of values in the array. And that's why I chose 24 bit uh, right here, because if I show you the preview, uh, you can see that's the exact number of uh, values I need. Now, if I go back and I change it to, let's say, an 8-bit, and you'll see the previews change now. And that type of value didn't uh, wasn't compatible with the code I was using. Now, also, if I go back to here, I was using color. But if you have a monochrome LCD, then you could use monochrome. And then when you show the preview, it's going to be black or white. And that's it. That's, there's no color information. So that's why this program has a lot of options. So I invite you guys to download it, play around with the settings, and uh, make it fit for the project that you're working on. So now let's go and check out the animation frame in action. All right, so now that we uploaded the code to uh, the animation frame, I'm going to plug it in, and we're going to see that new character appear. So let me do that. There we go. And there's our new character that we saw, and the values are appearing properly. Now, uh, this, uh, this procedure that I just shown you uh, can be used not just for this project, of course. Uh, there's different settings, like you saw, you could set it to monochrome, and then you could extract values to put in an array that would use the Nokia LCD, for example, or any type of graphic LCD for that matter. Uh, so that little piece of software, the LCD image converter, is very uh, useful for projects like this. If you like my videos, like always, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. Uh, but also, if you want more information on any of my tutorials that I do on YouTube, I have a website at brainybus.com where I build pages uh, with more information, copy of the code if you want to copy and paste it, and any other software that I use. So I, want, I invite you guys to check that out. So that'll do it for today, guys. And as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.